men going their own way. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that group or, you know, or men who are doing that? It's a hard thing to admit, but it's understandable why they would choose to go their own way. And that's what's scary is there's actually a rational reason why they would do that. Mm -hmm. If you're being told all your life that you are bad yeah. and wrong just for being a man and that you have toxic masculinity for being a man and that, you know, women, there's this famous feminist expression that, you know, uh, a woman needs a man just like a fish needs a bicycle <laughs> and that men are basically useless oh, and that men are terrible and that, you know, women are superior. How would you feel? I mean, you know, you're not going to feel that attracted to a woman or or care to be loving towards her or romantic towards her. Why are women more concerned with the ratio of male to female CEOs as opposed to the ratio of lower paid, dangerous, dirty jobs done mostly by men? Because women are smarter than men. Oh, why are men such trash? We are saying they're trash and they're taking it personally like I'm particularly saying, hi, you are trash. It is not just the guys in Los Angeles, Nashville, Dallas, and it's not they're not any better in the Midwest. They, quite frankly, I think they're trash all over this country. I made a TikTok about um, how I think all men are like trash these days. Like if I could go through life without interacting with men, that sounds like paradise. Whatever comes to your head that women are just naturally better at than men. I was going to say everything. <laughs> and yourself? My gut reaction was everything. I can't answer that without being sexist. We need to kill all men. I am sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just, in the future, subjugate me. So the only answer to that is to kill male babies and um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swing dick, just kill him. So this men going their own way movement is a reaction to that. I really think it's a rational reaction to that. Men are finally like, hey, we've given you all you want. You know, you, ha you are equal in every way and then you're still shaming us. Yeah. So for a lot of the men, it's, and a lot of them have gotten screwed over in terrible re relationships and divorces and gotten their kids taken away from them. So it's an understandable response. Feminism in 2022 is no longer about equality. Feminism in 2022 is about the hatred of men and the superiority of women. For example, 60% of all college attendees are now women. Now, I have no problem with this because I'm all about freedom of choice. So if young men choose to not go to college, they don't have to go to college. But when you ask a feminist why women have 60% representation in colleges, this is what they'll often say. Because women are smarter than men. <laughs> but when men represented 60% of all college attendees, it was because women were oppressed. So the mentality is if women are doing good, it's proof that they're superior, but if they're doing bad, it's proof of oppression. And when I say that feminism teaches women to hate men, when you have terms like all men are trash, when you have terms like the future is female, when you have terms like kill all men, there's nothing empowering about that. That's just pure hate speech. If I said all women are trash, if I said the future is male, if I said kill all women, that would not be considered a bold statement. That would not be considered a promotion of equality. That would be considered hate speech, which is exactly what it is, by the way. Feminism teaches women to hate men. It's okay to hate ideas. And by the way, I hate the idea of feminism, but it's not okay to hate people. Till next time. Yeah, look. Gotta go get this shit by any means like physics. I'm no chemist, but God makes his word to quake and hella lyric petri dishes. Got fucked up dispositions. Dropped the pen, picked up the pencil, then precisely me consistent.